In this video, we'll introduce algebraic substitution by using spider diagrams, or sometimes teachers refer to them as number machines. So let us look at our first number machine. And we're going to have values on the left of 1, 4, and 10. Now, how this machine works is we take the number on the left-hand side, and we replace the variable on the inside with that number to produce an output value. So the values on the left here are called input values, and the numbers on the right here are called output values. Now, in primary school or in your earlier years, you would have had a little block inside here. So you replace that number inside the block. But now we are introducing a variable. So our input value is the value of x. So in our first example, if I take 1 and I replace x with 1, it's 1 plus 2. And that answer is equal to 3. Then we have 4 and we input it in the place of x. So it is 4 plus 2. And that answer is 6. And lastly, we have 10, and we replace x with 10. So that is 10 plus 2, and that is equal to 12. So that's a very basic number machine. But what we want to focus on is that we have replaced x with each of the values on the left individually to find our answer on the right. Now let us keep those input values and make a change in our machine. So let us write a 3 in front of the x. Now what that means is we have 3 multiplied with x plus 2. And in the order of operations, we'll do the multiplication first. So let us take 1 and put it in the place of x. So notice it's not 31 plus 2. It is 3 times 1 plus 2. And that is equal to 5. Next, we have 4. So it's not 34 plus 2, but it's rather 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 2, which is 14. And lastly, we have 10. So again, it doesn't become 310 plus 2. It means 3 times 10, which is 30, plus 2. So that answer is equal to 32. Now, let us see how our output values would change when we add brackets. So I add brackets around the x and the 2. Now the calculation would change slightly. This would become, so let's take away the output values, this would become 3 multiplied with the answer of x plus 2. So in our first value, we would have 3 times the answer of 1 plus 2. And that is the same as saying 3 times 3. So I do the calculation of the brackets by itself. So when I replace x with 1, I first add 1 and 2 together to get 3 on the inside of the bracket. So it becomes 3 times 3, and that answer is 9. Next, we have 4 in the place of x, so it's 3 times 4 plus 2, but 4 plus 2 is 6, so it's 3 times 6, and that is equal to 18. So lastly, we have 10, so it's 3 times 10 plus 2, so 10 plus 2 becomes 12, so it's 3 times 12, and that is equal to 36.